I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. I saw more than enough political maneuvering in my time in house dress. I was tired of it then, and I'm tired of it now. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Now what is our Lord's wish? Well, well. He wants the chalice then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? It is a rather well-kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkon's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord Harkon has never cared to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkon's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the Chalice. Really? Indeed. He's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Vingalmo and Ortheolf are Harkon's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. And here we are. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into, well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. Do you need something?
them off. Never should have come here. <laughs> 